Good evening, good evening, guys. Come on, let us know again if y'all can hear us on this thing right now. Let us know, everybody tuning back in. Apologize, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I'm going to call Facebook. I'm, I'm going to call Facebook. Amen. To God be the glory. Y'all let, let us know. know. If you can hear us. Let us know if y'all can hear us on this thing right now. To God be the glory. Okay, y'all can hear us now. Amen. Good. I don't. Listen, I don't know what's been going on, but the devil has been attacking these social media yes, feeds yeah. and these lives. But you guys jump on this thing right now. Give everybody a chance to get back on here. Um, to God be the glory for everything that he's done. Let us know. Y'all can hear us clearly. A couple people saying they can hear. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to set the camera down, guys, so we don't have to hold it. But still, let us know if y'all can hear us. If not, I'll pick it back up. But to God be the glory for everything that he's doing. This is what happens when you try to get a word out in between service. Okay. Can Let us know if y'all still can hear us fine on this thing right now. Okay. Okay, perfect, Good. perfect. Um Oh, let me let me say this. Okay, let's start over. But let me say this. Um, to God be the glory. We thank God for each and every one of y'all. Um, bring your energy on here. Thank you, Valentina. Bring, I know. I, oh, you said joy hair. I thought you joy. said you love my hair. Apologies. Joy. Okay. <laughs> bring the energy on here, you guys, right now. Before we get on this thing, we just want to welcome God. And um, what I love so much about God, people don't understand. We always look at God in another sense, in another life. But God is a a fun, an energetic God. He loves to move. He loves to matriculate. He loves to manifest. And I, I we serve a God that is just an awesome God. And yes, we let is. him know how awesome he is just through our laughter, you know, just through our praise. And a, a lot of times we just, um, not even so much as being so serious, but, you know, we try to make God something, um, what he's not. We try to make God like he's just a a, a tough guy all the time when God wants us to laugh. The Bible says that it is a time to laugh. And so we just want you guys to bring the energy on here because yeah. some stuff, let's be real. Sometimes you have to laugh to keep from crying. Amen. Let's be real on this thing right now. Sometimes you have to, you have to learn how to laugh to keep from crying because what I learned about this life is that it does get tough, Amen. which is going to segue into what we're talking about. But this, this life gets tough. And so we just want you guys, um, do something for us right now before we go a step further. Just type, I'm blessed. If you know, that you're blessed. Um, I put something up this morning. It is just a blessing to be alive. If I can't thank God for nothing else, I just thank God um, for being alive. I might not go to the job that I want to go to. Right. Some of us don't even have jobs. Some of us don't even have degrees. Some of us don't even have education. But I thank God that he still wakes me Amen. up every morning because people don't understand that it is a blessing to wake up every Amen. morning because there's an opportunity in every morning. It is. Oh, somebody gonna miss that right there. There's an opportunity. Yes, it is every day. Brand new mercy, brand new grace. So if we can't do anything else, I'm just gonna say I'm blessed in spite of. I'm blessed just Amen. because God woke me up this morning. I am I'm, blessed I'm, in spite yes, of. Yes, in spite of. I'm blessed just because He allows me to sit next to somebody that's so amazing and beautiful and got their hair popping and color scheme going, Brother. matching a backdrop to God be the glory. It's Amen. Boy. You know. You matching more so than I, I know do. this is I know this is going to be <laughs> This is going to be amazing right here. But we want to lift up and talk uh, talk about something very briefly with you guys um in between got service tonight starting at 7 or 7:30, not sure. I think it's probably there. 7 o'clock. So we're not going to be on here that long. Um what do you do, my God? I, I I love this so much. We're gonna talk about what do you do when you're out of options. Is there anybody on this thing right now that says I have tried? I mean everything. I've exhausted all of my resources. I've tried to get on the phone and get people to counsel me. I've tried to call friends, family members, mentors, pastors, preachers, prophets, true. apostles, so bishops. Doctors, I've tried literally everything. I have exhausted all my resources and I still feel as if I am not satisfied. Feeling empty. I still feel empty. And so what we want to talk about on today is that what do you do when you're out of options? 
Um, Man, the reason Cynthia on the same track because fall I follow on my face, on my face too, Miss Cynthia. Amen. That, and that is that is important. I, I love this because let me let me help somebody right here. The reason why we wanted to do this feed, the reason why we wanted to get on here is because God spoke this word to me, and I want to share it to you guys. When you are out of options, that's when God is just most resourceful. Yeah. I oh, I know somebody. That, that miss somebody and I like have that. to add on to what you said because I was doing my studying today and it's not only when we out of options that he's present because we don't glorify him as much when we out of options that's true it's the times where God is giving us all the things that we've been praying for uh -huh. and wanting that he bless us with those situations that he tests us mm. those are those the those are the our testing times through the things that we have right who are we going to rely on our Sorcerer or the so resource? You, you get, you get I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're going to make the people log on before B, we can even I'm get just started. At, or, oh. she, gonna, she jumping way ahead. Okay, she getting to the end. See? I'm not. It's, I'm just saying. I'm just adding on. This is why it's hard to do live with people that study the word and God talks to them as well. I'm just, I'm just playing. But that, that is so amazing. That's how you know. Um, God is just moving because I didn't even know what she was studying. She didn't know what I was studying. We just jumped on this thing, and that's how I know God is intertwining this and bringing this thing together. She gonna make y'all log off because she didn't jump all the way to the I end. I didn't jump I, all the way to I the end. I just my... had to put that nugget in there, like you know, I had to drop a pin. That, that's yeah. You know, yeah. you know. That was a big pin. Like. That was a heavy pin. <laughs> So we want to God. God bless y'all. We love y'all guys. We love y'all. Y'all know how we. Y'all know how we are. We just like to flow. Um, this is this is amazing. Um, what do you do when you're out of options? For me, I love this. I'm gonna say it again. When you are out of options, that gives God the chance to be the most resourceful. Because can we be? Um, can can we be transparent on this thing right now? A lot of people don't like to be transparent. Let can we be, be transparent, transparent on this thing? Because I show like some of us have been in uh, some type of situations where we chose everything but God. That is sure. Where we tried everything but God, and it seemed like we went to every different source, every different resource. We we just tried to connect with so many different people and it would not work and God I love this because when you don't make God the number one priority he allows everything else to fail that is so true man because I've been there yes. I've been there to the point where since I thought I had everything mm -hmm. I wasn't even going to the person that actually gave me all this stuff wow. I wasn't even appreciating him or even saying thank you or I just say thank you but don't pray and that's where a lot of people get wow. it messed up yes. oh I talked to him but yes. did you pray to him yes did you thank him did you worship his name did you did you just go into worship yes. with him saying God I just thank you God I worship that's you true. and things like that so I myself did that and I lost everything too because he had to show me mm -hmm. I had to put you back and reroute the who I am. Can I be transparent? Because, and I know a lot of y'all, y'all ain't never been through this. Y'all have never done this. So, you know, excuse me for saying this. I know I'm the only one on here right now. But I found myself in relationships making somebody more of a priority than God. Yes. I've been I was, I was yep. praying that God, um, I was praying that I was praying more to them about God changing them instead of God working, working. in the relationship. Right. Oh, somebody's going to miss that right there. I spend more time praying that God changed them than saying God work in the relationship. Because if you work in the relationship, I was saying, God, fix this for me. Yeah. God, make this work. Have yep. you ever prayed to God for somebody and say, God, make this work for me? Yep. I want it so much. I and want you? it so bad. When God is saying, no, you got to you got to make me work. Yeah. Not make me work for you and um a lot of times we I, treat I said them like that, an employee yes <laughs> Ooh, man and we not the ceo that, not is, the CEO. that is so we treat, him we, like employee. we treat god like he works for us like he works for and us. not that we work through him exactly. somebody's gonna miss that oh man she dropping nuggets right there and so <laughs> i learned this because it was it was crazy the woman with the issue of blood this this is it's two things we're gonna lift up the first is the woman with the issue of okay. blood and what i love so much about this because the bible declares that she went to many physicians Mm -hmm. She did. Many physicians and lost and everything. 
everything, spent all that she had and went to all these different doctors, all these different physicians, and she was still left in a place where not only she was isolated, but she was not healed. Yeah, yeah. See, it's one thing, I can deal with being isolated, oh, thank you, Jesus, mm -hmm. I can deal with being isolated when I'm okay, mm -hmm. but there's another thing to be isolated and broken. Have any of you ever been in a situation of your in your life where you have been isolated and broken? Yeah. It's, it's one thing to be broken, and you know, you can kind of get the, the sureness of people or you can get the comfort of people but there's another thing to say I'm broken and not only am I broken but I am isolated as well and so what happened with this woman there it is right there Melody she was in a cave she was all by herself but it says that after she exhausted all of her resources mm -hmm. she made a conscious decision and many of us are at the point of our life where it's time to make, make a conscious, conscious decision. decision where we're gonna say you know what I'm not gonna try this my way anymore because we'll, we'll tell God have his way and then the moment it doesn't happen as quickly yes. been, yeah. it, it doesn't happen as quickly Lord, let as your will be done. Yes. not my will but your will we be and, sound and so but as soon as some don't go well let me try this yes. no. you don't trust them to, don't to trust pay them your bills and so you start looking for outside anchor. resources you start looking for folks to just get it done and so what happens is oh man I'm getting into what I'm I'm going to preach I'm I, oh I'm trying not to do it but I'm getting into what I'm going to preach because what happens is sometimes right before God is getting ready to move we move yeah, we move awesome. and we miss it. Mm, man, we miss our blessing. We miss our miracle because right when God was getting ready to work, we went and found an alternative resource. Yeah. And so what happens is A here it is. Fix. Yes, yes. What happens is somebody say plugged in. Come on, somebody shout plugged in on this thing right now. And, and so, oh, yes, yes, yes. Plugged in. What happens was a lot of us will disconnect from God because we don't feel the power. We don't feel the connection. We don't feel the anointing. And we'll try to hurry up and plug into something else without allowing God the time to work and move the way he wants to move. Because what I learned is, watch this. The Bible says that I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Now, this is crazy to me because that means that I can accumulate anything from anybody, but it still won't amount to a blessing from God. Yes. Oh, somebody going to miss that. That means that I can get stuff from people all across the world. They can tell me that I'm this. They can tell me that I'm that. They can prophesy to me. They can say all of this, speak stuff over my life, speak stuff into my situation. They can give me all kind of connections. They can give me all kind of promotions and recommendations, but it still does not amount to just one blessing from God. And I like that you said that because as you were speaking and you said plugged in, I thought about how we go to the manufactured chargers, whereas whether it's an Android charger or an Apple charger, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now when we're using the manufactured charger, mm -hmm. the charger seems like it's going well, our phone go like it's, everything is working well, but as soon as that, as soon as we forget it and we go buy a gas station charger See, or another charger, we try to do it and it's, you, our phone starts tripping. It starts to get hot. Why you I'm petty? just saying we gotta go back to because we try to get that this quick is, fix. Listen, this this is amazing. She being petty. I'm gonna let y'all know she being petty. Right. But I'm gonna tell I did oh man, God is so good. I love how he takes the, the natural things of this world and makes them spiritual. Because let me, cause, cause we being transparent on this thing. Exactly. This is why I say she being petty. Because this, I'm glad that God brought this revelation. Because I am the type of person where she gets on me all the time. Because I will walk into the gas station and buy the five dollar charger. Come on, I know I ain't the only one on here. And then I'll want get that upset. Quick fix. My God, I will get upset because I didn't you gotta go. Gotta continue to buy. I, I gotta continue to buy them over and over Do again you? instead of buying the manual. Do you hear that? Come on, Joy. I hear you. Because you're spending more money you. and you're wasting more time going wow. to the gas station. Yes. Spending more money when yes. you can just go buy the original that, source, the original of where, source it comes of where it comes from. Come from. Ooh, and man, you that's good. already just get used. You just say, yes. you ain't worried about the other charger break, how long it's going to So we wind, up, we wind so, up spending yeah. more time and more effort when we get stuff from the outside instead of getting it from yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. We think that is good because it's a temporary fix here it is we hook up for, just because it's we, there we hook up we with won't. a man or a woman for two or three months and we think that is good and then we wonder why a month later we're doing it with somebody else. else we wonder why a month after that we're doing it for somebody else and it's because we didn't wait for god to send us our mate That's man true. that is oh that man is so i hope y'all catching that in the spirit because that is so true i'm telling y'all i am the one where i will literally literally she matter of fact i'm gonna take a picture and i'll if y'all somebody inbox me and remind me i would take a picture i literally 
actually have five um, gas station chargers that I bought less than a month ago and none of them work. They all act like they just all sitting in the no, console. None of them work at all. Sitting in the console of the car, none of them work at all. And I'm like, man, I just bought this. And she will tell me, it doesn't matter if you bought it today. It don't matter if you bought it last week. It don't even matter if you bought it um, five minutes ago. The reason why it will not work, the reason why, the reason why he doesn't allow it to work is because you didn't get it from the source that created these things. Yeah. You went and got it from an alternative source. Here it is that didn't have the, the qualifications or didn't have the specifications or did not have the making of how to, oh, I love yeah. this. You went and got something that barely charges your phone instead of going to the one that has all power. And so how many times in our situation have we plugged in or have we grabbed something because it was quick and convenient and then found out in the long run that it oh, didn't Jesus. benefit us at all? Because when you say plug in and you and when you do and another thing, it started making okay, once you plug this in, whether it's a relationship or that person on person, then your inside yes. start working yes. a whole different way. Emotions yes. start bouncing out different yes. things. You didn't got this person seeing you you know, and just got this person's but what's that say? Uh that the extra baggage. Yes. More you ain't baggage. got we yes. got more baggage, so yes. now you put more baggage on you, so now you have more things that you need to get up off you. Wow, and then you know what's crazy? Thank you, God. I, man, she is blessing us on this thing right now. I hope y'all I hope y'all catching this. You know what's crazy? I still have all of those charges because I'm hoping that when I need them, they'll work. Knowing that they failed okay, me before. before. That's the baggage That's the, that you're because, talking because about. Because you hold them, yeah, because you steady hold on to them. Man. Like you like you know this relationship not going to work, but yes. I still got John Doe that I can call up because mm. I know he, he going to be there. Or I know if I call and I tell him, hey, I want, you know, he going to come. So, so they used to tell us when we were younger, they used to say, don't, don't put all, put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. But that's not faith. It's not. Because faith is saying either it's all or nothing. It is. Oh man, I love that right there. <laughs> Faith says either it's all or nothing. Watch this. Ninety percent of ninety percent of something is a hundred percent of nothing. That's because true. if you're not willing to go all in, then what you are telling God is that I don't trust you enough. That is. If you're not willing to go all in on a relationship, if you're not willing to go all in on a job, if you're not willing to go all in on a situation, if you're not willing to go all in, even in your own physical things that you're trying to gain on this earth, then oh my God, then what you are telling God is that yeah, I really I don't. don't Believe. You I really don't trust you. And so what do you do when you've run out of options? What do you do you when you feel up. like there is nothing else left for you to do? I love this because the, understand this. Understand this. A miracle is something. Mm -hmm. A miracle is simple. It's, it's amazing to us, but it's simple to God. Mm -hmm. Because a miracle is only what we deem impossible. That is true. Somebody... Oh that man, is so true. Go, man. That is so true. Oh my God, they gonna that get home so and it's gonna hit them, and they they gonna make sure figure out what be it driving is. and listen to this. Man, okay. man, I, I'm <laughs> feeling it right there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that again because somebody's gonna okay. miss that. Listen, this, listen. Uh, a miracle is only what we deem impossible. Now, it's simple for God, but it's only what we deem impossible. So watch this. I'm going to make this plain for you. What you deem impossible is what is a miracle. That relationship that you deem impossible that you feel like God will never grant you with. That husband that you've been praying for, but you feel like it's impossible to achieve. That's a miracle to us, but by God's standards, that's just a blessing. Yeah. And so what I love, because when we think things are impossible, that's when God steps sin. That's when he shows his favor. That's when he shows his grace. That's when he shows his miraculous power of, watch this, I can work a miracle in your life. So, in your thing, when you, when all your resources then ran out, because I've been there where it yes. seems like even in my darkest and deepest moments where I would call on somebody that usually be there, mm -hmm. that wasn't there, that God would start taking those people away before they won't answer their phone so they'll be busy or doing whatever. So, God would show you Hey, I'm going to take all your resources away so you yes. can come to me. So yes. it, it had to come to a time where I yes. did that. So I had to like, I was like, okay, it's just me. It's just me in this house. I didn't call everybody. Nobody calling me back. It had yes. been a whole hour. The one who never sleeps no sleep. <laughs> and it had been a whole hour. Oh, my God, yes. Right? And I was like, okay. I, you got my attention, God. So you have to, like, it, it comes down I to I love that. this. Oh, man. I love this. Somebody's talked about Lazarus. That's Miss Melody. It's, Miss Melody said it's like Lazarus. He didn't come right away to his sickbed. Then he died. 
they knew Jesus the healer, but Jesus wanted them to know him in a higher, deeper, closer way. The one who can raise the dead. When all resources are gone, then he shows up and gets all the greater glory. Wow, I love this. Let's can we break down this Lazarus thing real quick? Like this, this is amazing to me. Because Ooh, I love that. what they oh my god, what they did was they do just like we do. They do just like we do. Watch this. The sisters got mad with Jesus and said, had you been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Because they knew Jesus could move. They knew what Jesus could do. They knew what he was capable of. And so a lot of times when God doesn't move in our situation, I think we talked about that before. When we God doesn't move in our situation, that we get mad with God because do. he doesn't move we when we want him to move. So we we get angry excellent. because we know what he's capable of. We know that he, what he could do. And so I love this because they, they said something that a lot of us say. They said, had you been here, my brother would have never died. And I couldn't be Jesus. Can I play Jesus for one second? God. Because I want them to realize this. Listen, had you been here, my brother would have never died. But had Jesus not shown up, your brother would have never lived again. Wow. And so it's not a matter of if he's going to show up. It's what he's going to do when he shows up. Because like you were saying like before, like how we, um, like you spoke on, you preached like an end time guy. You yes. know what that? So we want yes. God to work on our time, our time. on time. Yes. So like, hey, I need you on this time. Yes. So he works in time. Just, yes. just he, but he tests our faith. Yes, and he has to true. test our faith like that to see, are you still gonna trust me? Right. Are you still gonna believe me? That's true. Are just because I'm a day late, are you still gonna trust and believe that I can do this? And so, oh man, I love this. Janisha says we want him to move when we're not doing our part. I love this because um, I, when we were younger, they used to say something that says the closer you get to God, the closer he gets to you. And that's so true because the Bible says return unto me and I will return unto you. And so what that simply means as the closer we get to God, the closer he gets to us. And how do we get close to God? I'm glad you asked by prayer and meditation. Because if you're not praying your way through, I say this all the time, you, you may as well give up now. You may as well give up now. And so what do you do when you've ran out of resources? What do you do when your back is against the wall? What do you do when you have no options left? I'm glad that you asked. That is when you pray harder. Yeah. Well, why am I praying and I don't have any food on the table? That's when you pray harder because what you are, not only what you're telling God, but what you are telling the enemy is that no matter what I go through, I will I'm never lose my connection man. with God. I'm still just worshiping. Man, I'm that, still praising. Oh, my God. That's oh. part, like how you were saying, you pray and you meditate and also you fast. Um, you have to, yes. you have to, um, you have to set those, you have to, like, how bad do you want it? That's, that's basically oh, that's what it good. comes down that's to. Good. Like, how bad do you want it? How bad yes. do you want to change? How bad do you want to get closer to him? How yes. bad do you want to grow? So it goes down to that, how bad do you want it? Uh, so let me, let me use this time to actually read. Let me use this time to actually right. study him. Right. Let me study right. him for what he done yes. for me. Let, let's go back to the basics of what he did when he died. Yes. And when he did, why he died. Let's go back to all those things and to bring it back to our remembrance because some people forgot it. That's true. That's true. Sometimes we have to get to a point where we remember what God has already brought us from. But we remember what God has already exactly. did for us, how God has already moved in our situation. Exactly. And so I, I love this. I love this because this is this is amazing. This is so beautiful to me. Because we talked about what do you do? How do you hold on in the midst of adversity? Listen, Jacob says that I know you're going to whoop me. I know we wrestle till daybreak. But Jacob wrestles with the angel and he tell him, I will not let go until you bless me. That is, that is amazing. What do you mean? I'm hurting you. What do you mean? We are going back and forth. What do you mean? We have been at this thing all night. He says that as I don't care. I won't let go until you bless me. And so what that, how do you apply that to your life? How do you apply that to your situation? I don't care if I don't get the promotion. I'm not going to let go until you bless me. I don't care if they don't acknowledge me. I'm still going to do what God has told me to do until he blesses me. I don't care if I don't have the car. I'm still going to catch the bus until he bless me. What you are telling your situation is that my God is bigger than you. I'm glad you said that oh, because man. when I was in the, my old relationship, mm -hmm. my ex, he took away all his cars and he thought that was going to hurt me. Wow. So I, I found myself to catch the bus in a whole nother city. I didn't know anything about it because I still had a determination that I'm going to still go to school and I'm going to still yes. go to work and the enemy can't Regardless. take nothing away from me. Mm. So I ended up catching a bus. And, but let me tell you how God works. When you, I was, I was taking a bus for about two weeks yes. max, and this girl, her, uh, 
my friend in, in class, she was like, Joy, you always catching a bus. She said, where you stay at? And I told her. She stayed around the corner. She said, girl, you better not catch no bus no more. Hmm. And then up on top of that, she worked down the street from me, literally in the same sub thing, in the same area. She said, you ain't got to worry about it. I'll pick you up and take you. She didn't ask me for nothing, yeah. but but still. Your faith makes faith favor faith moves. Makes favor moves hey. expeditiously. Hey. That's why I say, how bad yes. do you want it? Just because you yes. stopped to take you, you took yeah. the vehicles yes. away, doesn't mean yes. I still I'm, got I'm money still, to get on the bus. Right. I'm still gonna get my parts. I'm, I'm still gonna <laughs> get to my destination. I'm not gonna yes. let a distraction. I'm not gonna let a, de a dilemma. I'm not even a gonna, delay. I'm not gonna let <laughs> delay. I'm not gonna let a, a fake boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not gonna let a controlling man or woman stop me from getting to where I want to be. I love this because if you don't want to help me do it, then I'm gonna do it on my own. You Listen. Have to I ain't, ain't got a fake no more. I make faith moves. Yeah. Y'all better help us on this thing yes. right now. I ain't got a fake no more. I make faith moves. And so what you are telling your situation that my God is bigger. Than greater, any circumstance. Greater. Than any greater circumstances. Greater is he. And so that man, that 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 is so good right there. Because this is this is crazy. Jesus, this is crazy. And what I want you guys to understand and realize is that you have to get to a point where you say, I'm not going to stop no matter what. Those moments when you want to give up, that's when you go harder. Those moments when you say, I don't feel like it, that's when you go harder. You that moment when you say, you know what, I'm going to miss church this Sunday. That moment when you say, you know what, I ain't going to even go. I don't, I'm going to stay in the bed. You got to cry and work. You, you got to cry and work. You, you got to struggle Through the pain, you have work. to endure the pain. Yes. Yes, because what you have to tell your situation is that my worship I'm, is for real. God is bigger. Yes. Big God, small and, problem. And if, and if my worship is for real, then my God is for real. Man, if, if my worship is for real, then I don't have to worry about my situation. It, it's crazy because a lot of people don't understand how God moves. God only moves where he is allowed to operate exactly. in. And, and so you if you are shutting God me. out of yes, when you are shutting God out of your situation, what you are saying is, God, I really don't want you to move. Exactly. Because you can't pray about it and then pick it right back up. No, you got to pray about it and leave it there. Because when you leave it there, you're saying, God, I trust you with it. It's like why why fight with the enemy? Yes. When when God already gets when God already know how to fight, go in because he know he gonna win. Yes. He know you gonna come off top. Can I ooh man, can I say this? Yeah. Don't don't tell your situations about God. Don't tell your situations about God. Just let no, I said that backwards. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't tell God about your situations. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I said it backwards. I had to make sure I caught it. Don't tell God about your situations. I knew tell, was going. tell tell your situations about your God. Yeah, yes. You have to speak. Don't mm. Because so many times we say, God, I got this going on. God, I got that going on. God, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. God, I don't know how I'm going to get out of that. God, I don't know how this is going to work. God, I don't know how that is going to work. Instead, you need to turn around and say, hey, Bills, do you know who my God is? You heard of growing pains. Growing pains, yes. So, you know, like through the pain, you growing. Yes. It's teaching you something. Yes. It's molding you to be something. Yes. Like the situation that you're in is only temporary, but Come it's necessary. It's, mm. it's a necessary, t but a yes. temporary situation that is, this is a test. Yes. Now, let me pa let's pass this test on the first try. Wow. On the first try. Yes. And so you go from a point where you're saying God is no longer the last resort, mm -hmm. but he's the first, first priority. That's the first priority. He's the first priority. Because when you go to God first, oh my God. God it, gave it, us a syllabus. Yes. When we in school, we get a syllabus mm -hmm. or we get a practice test about the same test that we about to get. Yes. We have a practice round. Yes. So he giving you a practice test. Why are you going to study it? Wow. Are you going to take the time out to actually notice? Yes. 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 That the, the same thing that you see and the same thing that you see in I've others already so that I already prepared you wow, for. Wow, that's good. I've already prepared yes. you for it. God is saying that, watch this, it, it may be a, a different situation, but it's still similar. Because if I brought you out of a bad relationship, I can bless you with a new job. Yes. I tell people that all the time. Don't trust God for one thing and don't and leave him out of another thing. God said, you got to learn how to everything. trust me in everything in my life. And so the last thing we're going to leave y'all with, because I told y'all we got to go to church. Share this if it's blessing y'all on today. Last thing we're going to leave y'all with, um, one of our favorite people in the world. Um, her, her name is Sister Gaddy. First Lady Gaddy. She's out here. 
in Houston, Texas. One of, I mean, one of my most favorite people. Joy, love her to death. Um, she recently, last year, oh man, to God be the glory. She recently, last year, went to the doctor um, after Hurricane Harvey. She just started experiencing so many pains, so many sickness. Everything was going on. I mean, it was keeping her from church. She's a minister, all these types of things. It was keeping her from doing what God has called her to do. And so Ooh, she blessed it. me. She blessed me with this. Um, Jesus, she blessed me with this, and I want to share it with you guys before we jump off of this live. She said she went to the doctor, right? She told her testimony. I was shouting, jumping across the church. Mm -hmm. She said she went to the doctor, and the doctor was reading her all her test results. The, results. the doctor was telling her what was going on um, in her body and how this was wrong and how that was wrong. And the doctor got to the end, and he said, well, there's nothing I can do for you. What do you do when the doctor, the person that has went to school, the person that has gained the knowledge, the person that's supposed to know these things, he says, well, there is nothing left for me to do. I, I don't know what else I can do for you. Listen, basically, you're just waiting on your death date. Basically, we have to release you and send you home because we don't know what else we can do. We right. can't run no more tests and all of that. And it's crazy because the doctor says, well, there's nothing left for me to do. And she looks at him and she tells him, I wasn't expecting you to do anything in the first place. Just like with me. <laughs> yes, God. He said, whose report you want to believe? Jesus. Yes. yes. Oh, my yes. God. I, who's Jesus. Report? I started shouting and jumping because she says, I wasn't expecting you to do anything in the first place. That's it. I just went here as protocol. But Ooh. listen, I... I know oh, I like there that. is something I know there is something that is higher than you. I know there is somebody that put the knowledge in you but left some knowledge out that you can't even get to. Mm -hmm. Somebody going to miss that right there. I know that y'all have all of these tests. I know that y'all have all of these things that y'all can do, but there is something called the blood. What do you do when there is nothing else to do? There is something called the blood. What do you do when there is nothing else to do? There is something called the Holy Spirit. There, what do you do? Come on, somebody says that it reaches to the highest. I don't care how high you are. And it flows to the, lowest. to the lowest valley. I don't care how low you can get. I don't care if you feel like you are far away from God. This woman says that, listen, I came here as protocol because they told me that I need to come get evaluated. I'm glad that you said you couldn't do anything because when you can't do nothing, that means my God is getting ready to do everything. Oh, Jesus. Listen. Come on li now. Listen. When, when, when you're down to nothing, that's when God is up to something. Ooh. I'm glad you gave up on me. Come on, is there anybody testimony on this thing right now? I'm glad you gave up on me. I'm glad you said I would never be anything. I'm glad you said I would never amount to anything. I'm glad y'all said I wouldn't recover from that last relationship. I'm glad you said that my credit score was going to rob me of opportunities. I'm glad you said that I had a bad attitude in 2010 and nobody would hire me. I'm glad you told me that because of what my family had done and what my family had been through that the apple don't fall too far from the tree and I was going to be right back in those same problems. I'm glad you looked at my test scores back when I was in high school and said that I would never be anything. I'm glad you looked at my last relationship and said that would be the death of me. I'm glad you looked at my children and said that they would never become anything. But is there anybody that just says when man puts all these things on me, all that does is make God take me to another level. That's it. My God, my tragedy, my tragedy transferred me. My oh man, my tragedy transformed me into triumph. What are you saying? What are you saying? You mean that God can take my tragedy? God can take the very things that people have and said about me? Triumph. God has said every has took everything that people have placed over my life, all the negative influences, all the down talking that they've been doing, everything that they've been telling me I would never achieve, I would never become. God is saying when they talk about you, that just means that I'm getting ready to transform you. Is there anybody that just say I'm going to thank God for my haters because my haters Anyhow. were the same one that caused God to bless me? Anyhow, thank God. Anyhow, I'm going to thank him. I'm going to thank God for my haters because it was my haters. It was the testimony of my haters over my life. It was what they projected me that said, no, God, I got to turn this thing around. If you would have said that I'm going to be the greatest, then everything would have been fine. If you were going to say that I was going to be the richest, then everything was going to be fine. If you would have said that I was going to grow up and be a millionaire. But no, since you spoke negative things over my life, when God has already graced me, when God has already put me in position. I wish I had
have some folks that will give God praise right there. When God has already said all of these things on my life, since you have so much negative to say, then God has to work a positive. And so I'm glad that the testimony of my haters did not prevail. Jesus, I'm glad that he preceded your predictions. Because if it was left up to your predict, oh my God, come on, can we be real on this thing? If it was left up to your haters predictions, you would have been dead a long time ago. If it was left up in your haters predictions, then that boyfriend would have killed you last year. If it was left up to your haters predictions, then you would be somewhere in a mental institution and your kids would be in foster care. But I thank God that he did not see fit to let what they predicted triumph over me. Hmm. Jesus. He did it. David says, how long? I don't care when your back is up against the wall. Just say, listen, my back is up against the wall, but I won't be here forever. I don't care if the walls are caving in. Listen, it may be caving in, but you got to learn how to climb out of that thing. Okay. Oh, my God. God may just be closing in so he can expose everything that's claustrophobic and he don't want to be there. I don't like tight spaces. I don't like to be closed in. I don't like to be boxed in. And God will say, sometimes I got to box you in so I can crush the things that people have said on you. And so when I crush them, then it will cause you to try up and climb out using the very same people that told you you would never be anything. Mm -hmm. I thousand at your feet, 10,000 at your right hand. And so what I want you to understand is that everything that they predicted will not work because greater. I'm just looking at my right hand. Jesus. Somebody say he turned it. Somebody say he turned it. Come on. Somebody say he turned it. 180, 180. 180, they thought that I would never recover. They thought that I would never be anything. They thought that I was going to give up when my back was in against the wall. But when my back was against the wall, that caused God to bless me. Why? Word. Because I trusted him when I couldn't trace him. I trusted him when I couldn't see him. I, like I trusted that. him when I, I didn't have anything him. else. I trusted him when I didn't have no friends to lean on. I trusted him when people stopped answering the phone calls. I trusted him when I hadn't have nothing left and I ran out of options. But here it is, the woman with the issue of blood. If I just make it to Jesus, if I just make it to the one that is above everybody, if I just make it to the name that is greater than all names, I don't care that people are in front of me. I don't care that people are around me. I don't care that they talked about me. I don't care that they seen me struggle. But what I'm going to do is just make my way to Jesus. Because when I make my way to Jesus... Everything will be all right. I wish I, I wish I can I wish I can go crazy on this thing, but we gotta go. Jesus. Jesus. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. We love y'all so much. Listen, anything y'all wanna lift up, inbox it, we'll talk about it. Y'all have a, a beautiful evening. Getting ready to go to service. Y'all pray for us in advance. Jesus. Um, any prayer requests, y'all send it because we are going to lift up. Listen, the word God spoke is transformed. That has been in my spirit, and I'm I'm gonna lift that up later on in the week for you guys but god spoke the word transform and so we're going to lift up and talk about this thing transform i know the holy spirit is moving because i can hear myself echoing it's crazy i know god is moving because i can hear myself echoing come on don't miss your moment right here i don't know who's on this thing but don't miss your moment right here god is saying transform god is saying transform come on don't miss your moment right here god is saying transform I'm getting ready to transform you. I'm getting ready to take the form of things and make favor things. Come on, transform me, God. Transform my mind. Because if you change my mind, I'll be able to make the money. Come on, God. Change my mind. Because if you change my mind, I'll be able to deal with my haters. God, transform my situation. Because if you change my situation, then I'll be able to bless those around me, God. This is more than just money. This is more than just opportunity. God, I need you to create a new me. Come on, God. Transform my heart. God, yes, right now, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I can I can feel him on this thing right now. And so what I want you guys to do is realize that God is trying to do something new. God is trying to make you over oh, again, Jesus. but it only happens if you allow him to move when you are down to nothing. I know some of you are on the rocks of your marriage, on the rocks of your relationship, on the rocks of your job. They told you that they were going to fire you. They have put notices out about your car, saying that you can't pay your insurance, saying that your bills are past due. But is there anybody that just says, I'm going to trust God to transform me? Amen. I love that right there. I'm going to trust God to transform me. Come on, right there. I'm going to trust God to transform me. Yes, God. I'm going to trust God to transform me. Purify me, God. Yes. 
make me over again. And so may God bless y'all. May God keep y'all on this thing right now. We love y'all so much. Y'all have a beautiful evening. Oh, God. To God be the glory for what he's getting ready to do. Come on. We thank you in advance. I'm trying to let this thing go. We thank you in advance, God, for what you're getting ready to transform. We thank you in advance for what you've already done, God. I ain't seen it yet, but I know you're, I know you're going to do it. I haven't felt it yet, God, but I know you're going to do it. Eyes have not seen it. Is of not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. So, God, we know that you're going to do it. We thank you in advance. To God be the glory. Come on, we love each and every one of you guys. Enjoy your evening. And God bless. Keep pushing. Pray until something happens. Praise until something happens. Preach until something happens. And push until something happens. God bless y'all.